Yo, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Lycan Studios. Today I'm going to be bringing you another information update on Game of Thrones Season 8. So this is actually taking place in Dubrovnik, which is in Croatia, where they are filming the set, or one of the sets, for King's Landing. So you guys may have actually seen in a couple other people's videos that Kit Harington was actually spotted on the set for King's Landing. Well just in, it looks like Lena Headey is there as well. Yes, that is correct. That means that Jon Snow and Cersei Lannister are meeting up in King's Landing. So I was just scrolling through the photos, checking them out, and I actually noticed that they were just sitting there talking to Benioff and Weiss. And I was like, does this mean that this is actually taking place in the final episode where they're going to be directing? If you guys didn't know, Weiss and Benioff are actually going to be directing the final episode. So I kept scrolling through the photos. I was like, what in the world could be going on? But then I actually seen David Nutter. Now this kind of tells me that Benioff and Weiss are probably just on set just to kind of give direction and make sure everything's going pretty well, and that David Nutter will be taking care of this episode that they're filming right now. He's known to be directing episodes 1, 2, and 4, so if I had to guess, I would say that this is going to be in episode 4. Now this is just clearly speculation on my part, I will never know what exactly is going on until the episodes actually drop, but I'm wondering if this kind of leads up to the plot leak that we mentioned in one of the last videos talking about how Jon Snow is actually captured and put in chains by Cersei in episode 5. I wonder if this could kind of just be leading up to it, and then 5 will open up with him being in chains. You could definitely make sense out of all of that so far, but I've actually been thinking of another theory that could possibly happen. It's kind of the same thing, but it would just be happening a little bit earlier on. I've read about it in a couple other people's theories, and it kind of makes sense too. It's like, what if Cersei decides not to send any troops to help them fight the army of the dead, and Jon actually, in episode 2, decides that he's going to go to King's Landing himself to talk to Cersei. There would kind of have to be a little bit more stuff to happen in order for this to really be true just because she does come back out of the dragon's pit saying that she's going to help but you kind of know that she's evil and you know she could go back on her word pretty fast but anyways what if john decides to go to king's landing by himself just to see if he can kind of talk to cersei lannister in order to you know convince her to send some troops and she ends up killing him and sending his body back to winterfell from there, a couple of things could happen, but what if Beric decides to perform the kiss and actually give Jon Snow his life back? This would be absolutely insane. Cersei would have no idea that Jon is actually still alive, and then everything could just play out through there. I'm not too sure exactly how the kiss works. I definitely need to read up on it a little bit more and kind of just get the lore and stuff behind it, but it is something that I've consistently been reading like over and over on other people's theories. So definitely leave me a comment if you kind of could just explain how that works. I will definitely be researching into it more. You guys are probably going to be like, man, this guy should have done that before he made this video, but oh well. I just want to get this information out there and just kind of create some discussion. I personally think that this is just going to be a scene from episode four. I'm not too sure if it could actually lead into him being like captured in chains. We'll have to just wait and see how that plot leak, you know, plays out and stuff when the episodes actually come out. It would be pretty cool, but I do think that this is going to be from episode four. Episodes 1 and 2 just seem like way too soon for him to actually be going to King's Landing. But like I always say, with Game of Thrones, you really never know. Especially with what I said before, like him going to talk to Cersei about her not sending any troops. That really could, it could work. Something else you may notice when you're taking a look at these photos is that Cersei Lannister's outfit looks a little bit more battle ready and has a lot more gold on it from her costumes in the past couple years. But anyways guys, that pretty much wraps this video up. I just wanted to ask you guys one question before I go. What kind of videos would you guys like to see on the channel? I was thinking about doing a couple different things, maybe like putting together all the, you know, supposed plot leaks into one video and kind of just making like a compilation of like everything that's great about all of them and just put them together into one theory. Or maybe doing like theories on certain characters, like if they're going to live, if they're going to die, and kind of just do it character by character, kind of like Talking Thrones does. But yeah, like I said, that's it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. This has been Lycan Studios. Peace.